Welcome back to this channel for practice problems for actuarial exams. My name is Krzysztof Ostaszewski. You can find information about me at smartyrl.it forward slash Jedi. My advice on how to pass actuarial exams is at smartyrl.it forward slash pass. This video channel is at smartyrl.it forward slash pass actuarial exams. Here you have information about online seminars and study manuals for exams PFM, IFM and LTAM that I offer. I direct the actuarial program at Illinois State University. You can find information about it at smartyrl.it forward slash actuary. If you would like to offer a tax deductible donation to support our students, please go to smartyrl.it forward slash help ISU actuary. Here's the problem for today for exam FM on financial mathematics. Consider a 100 par value 15 year 5% bond with some annual coupons. The bond is callable at 109 on any coupon date starting five years after issue at time five exactly for the five years that follow and then at 105 starting 10 years after issue for the five years that follow except for the maturity date when the bond matures at 100. What is the highest price an investor can pay for this bond to be assured a yield of 5% convertible semi-annually no matter whether the bond is called or not? And here's a solution. An investor who buys this bond has the following possible alternatives. Receive 109, the first call price, paid at time 5 or at time 5.5 or 6, etc. until time 9.5, plus all the $2.50 coupons through the date when the bond is called. Or receive $105, the second call price, paid at time 10 or 10.5, etc. until time 14.5 plus the 250 coupons through the date when the bond is called. Or receive maturity payment of 100 plus 250 coupons through maturity. If the bond is called at time 5 and the rate of return is 5% compounded semi-annually, then the appropriate price at time 0 is 250 paid as a coupon over 10 periods at 2.5%. 10 periods, that's 5 years worth of half a year period, so that's why 10. Plus 109 times 1.025 to a negative 10, that's approximately 107.03. If the bond is called at time 5.5, um, and the rate is 5% compounded semi-annually, then the price is 2.5, a angle 11 2.5 at 2.5% plus 109 times 1.025 to a negative 11, that's approximately 106.86. Note that this price is lower because the bond offers income of 250 per half year, while the market yield is 2.5% per half year, so these two are equal, while later payment of 109 uh, causes lower price because it's discounted over a longer period of time. As the call price remains the same until time 10, the price resulting from any call before time 10 will be no more than 107.03. If the bond is called at time 10, its price at 5% compounded semi-annually will be 2.5 times angle 20 at 2.5% plus 105, it's no longer 109, it's now 105, times 1.025 to a negative 20, that's approximately $103.05. And this is of course lower because we defer the payment, but more importantly, we have a lower value of principal paid going from 109 to 105. Later calls were only lower value by the same reasoning as above. Finally, the price for the case of waiting till maturity is of course 100 as the bond has the same coupon as the market interest rate. Each of these prices corresponds to a specific outcome and in that outcome that is the price at 2.5 percent per year, half a year yield. If the investor pays in that specific outcome a price that is higher than the one named, such investor will receive a lower yield than the 2.5%, and if the price paid is lower, the yield will be higher. 
in order to get at least 2.5% per half a year in all of those possible outcomes, the investor must pay only up to the lowest of those prices, so $100. And that's answer C. Please remember this is copyrighted material. The problem was created by me and the solution is mine. All rights reserved, reproduction in whole or in part without express written permission from the author is strictly prohibited.